morning everyone welcome to this edition of top training web series today i'll be demonstrating on how to set up an alert for newly added or existing files in my sharepoint document library to stay updated when your sharepoint documents or items on your site change you can create alerts and these alerts can be sent to your colleagues or team via a email or text messages depending on how your sharepoint admin has set up your instance the best thing that you can do is you can set up alerts for list or live document libraries folder or even in a file level as well you now for example you can set up an alert for a specific folder in a library without receiving alerts when changes occur in the rest of the library so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how, how to get this done so i have two scenarios to, on, to do this one is to set up alert on item changes in a sharepoint document library now as you see here you can get an alert whenever a file or a link or a folder is changed in a SharePoint document library. Now, depending on the item, if it's a file, folder, or link, you may see different options when you set an alert. And first thing what you can do is this is a document library. And all you need to do is over your mouse on one of the files. And you can see the Epsilon button. Just click on that. And then select Alert Me, right? Click on alert me, right? Now in the alert me, when items change dialog, select the change the options that you want, right? So for example, this is the alert title, right? So you can rename this based on your requirement. And then I can set up an alert to the users. to the group right so I have two options one is to send by email or I can send it by text right so this needs to be configured and then I can also set it up what are the type of what is the kind of alerts that I need to what are the kind of alert that I need to set up for this alert me changes so send an alert when anything changes something someone else changes a document or someone else changes a document created by me or someone else changed a document last modified by me so when do you want to send this alert you can also set up a daily summary or you can set up a weekly summary at the time and the date and if you want to do it immediately you can do that as well and then i click on ok Great, so now I have set up an alert for this document, right? Now, in order to manage these alerts, all you need to do is go back to the site and click on manage my alerts. You click on that. You can see all the workflows or the, all the alerts that you have created for file level or based on the, the whole document library level so you can just you know click over here and then review your alert status what you have created on the system here you go so you can make the changes again if you need to you can do that as well all right now I've been talking about setting up an alert for an individual file. So let's go ahead and do it for the whole site. So just gonna click over here. Fantastic. So this is my document library called Sales Report. Now, whatever changes occur in this document library, I'm gonna get a notification based on that. The same as what I've explained earlier. So you can just put up the username or the group or the department especially for the sales and marketing department. I, this is a fantastic feature that you can enable them because you have a lot of proposals or reports going into the document library. So it's very important that each marketing or sales team member needs to get notified by the same. So I think this is a wonderful feature that they can have it enabled. And then I click on OK, simple. Again, I click on Manage My Alerts to see Here you go. So now this is 
for my whole document library and this is for my single file right so that comes to an end of my video i hope you enjoyed watching this and um, very easy to set it up so go ahead and try it out for yourself and i'll be coming up with more and more technical videos so stay tuned have a great day